What follows is a detailed demonstration of how to fit and make adjustments to your new Help em Up harness. It's a bit detailed, but you can pause it at any time to review. You are now looking at the complete harness. There are two halves, the front and the back, and they're joined in the middle with a connector strap. To the right is the front with a larger handle, and it fits over your dog's chest. To the left is the hip lift with a smaller handle, and it fits around your dog's pelvis. You are now looking at the conventional version of the hip lift, and it has a solid belly band. And now you are looking at the U-band version of our hip lift, named for the unique U-shaped opening that allows your dog's penis to pass through. Now keep in mind, only about 20% of male dogs wear this version, and their penis is further back on their abdomen. Most males wear the conventional version. And this is what your harness will look like on your dog when it's properly fitted. Before we move on to fitting, let me first demonstrate how to fasten and unfasten the eight clips that you may need to adjust. With two fingers, push in the sides to release. You can feel the two little flexible prongs that release, and then push them back and in until they catch. That's it. That's as hard as it gets. The harness comes fully assembled. Pull it out of the bag and shake it out. I'm holding the front half in my left hand and the back or hip lift portion in my right. Hold the whole harness over your dog to get a feel for its total length. You may need to add a little length to the connector strap to get started. To start, there are five clips that you will need to unfasten to place the harness on your dog. They are shown here as clips A through E. In a second, I'll show you how to disconnect these five straps. But remember, you can pause this video at any time and return to this diagram. Just to repeat, to begin, you need to unfasten five clips. The two trailing straps, one belly band, and the two chest straps. The two trailing straps are D and E, the belly band is C, and the chest straps are A and B. After unfastening these clips, you will have one remaining opening at the front. You'll slip this over your dog's head and neck. Let the large handle in the top half rest on your dog's shoulders. Now tuck the bottom tee pad under your dog's chest, bringing the two chest straps up one at a time, reclipping them back at the top like this. We'll leave the tightening of all straps until later, although it's possible you may need to add length to these straps initially to get them to attach. Now let's move to the hip lift portion. Place the small handle over the top of the hips, or perpendicular across the spine, if you will. Pull the belly band under the belly, and refasten back at the top. At clip C from the earlier diagram. Reach under again, and pull the two trailing straps up on either side of the tail, and reconnect them back at clips D and E from the diagram. Reach under again, and make sure the belly band is flat and not twisted. We are now ready to lift. If you can, gently lift with both hands to lift your pup. If you can't lift your dog all at once, try just lifting the front or back half. As we have said, it is a complete harness. Although you can use just the front half for a walking harness, you need both front and back halves connected to keep the back half from slipping off. Using just the hip lift by itself is not recommended. It needs to be attached. To remove the harness, just reverse the previous sequence you used to put it on. And finally, pull it off over your dog's head. We're now going to go through the final adjustments to give you the perfect fit for your dog's unique dimensions. Your harness does not have to be tight to work, as you saw in the last segment. In fact, it is designed to loosen with use, so that it's never too tight. Also, your dog can lay down while wearing the harness, and we want it to loosen somewhat to make it as comfortable as possible for them. Let's start at the chest, as it is a very important fit. To more easily add or remove length, first unclip the fasteners and make the adjustments by adding slack through the clip itself. This makes it much easier.
With the shoulder clips, we have an elastic band, which helps keep the excess strap tucked away. First, disconnect the fastener, slide it out under the band, and make your adjustment. Now slip it back under and reconnect. Let's move to the trailing straps. These are pretty easy. Just disconnect the fasteners, make length adjustments, and then reconnect. Tuck away excess strap in the elastic bands. Also, this is a good time to readjust the belly band. Remember, it doesn't need to be tight to work. Now you can take out any slack or tighten the connector strap to make sure the hip lift is in the best position. You want your belly band slightly forward of the front of the hind leg. If it is too far back, just tighten the connector strap. As with the other connectors, disconnect it first, then adjust. It's much easier that way. You can, however, adjust while it's connected. Just push the slack through the buckle and then tighten it down and now tuck away additional strap. Now that your harness is properly adjusted, you can put it on and take it off much more quickly. From time to time, however, you will need to tighten the straps as they are designed to loosen for your dog's comfort. One of the critical final adjustments is positioning the bottom tee pad to just below or behind the rib cage. You can feel where your dog's ribs end and the belly begins. It slopes back. This is ideally where the tee pad of our tee pad should be positioned. You can move the tee pad forward or back by loosening or tightening the strap under the sternum. It's easiest to disconnect the chest straps to move this pad. 